but first try to so I can rearrange it like this. This first try to dx square is equal to y m d. I can write e minus d now. Huh? I put the minus sign here. So it's okay. It's okay. Now you can divide this. K2. This as I can define it. This is K2. So I can write K2 square uh, side. Yeah, do. Yeah, the E is less than B also. So I cannot say this is a scattering state. The scattering state only happens. The scattering the state happens when e is greater than b, right? So in region one, in region one, e is greater than b, but in region two. Is less than zero, so it cannot be scattering state, right? It cannot be scattering state. Can you see my lecture? Okay. Can you see? Okay. Oh, red color is not working well. Okay. Okay. Now, in this region, region two, it should not be scattering state, right? Then, how we can write the psi two here? Okay. Then you can write here psi two is equal to. Uh, I can use the Debye's notation. F e to the power minus k x plus d e to the power plus k x. Now it's not this category. It, there is no i here, right? So you cannot say this. We are moving the i in the air. No. Yes, there is uh, no i. But but here you should remember that always. If e is less than if e is less than b, e is less than c, e is less than b, e is not a scattering state. There should not be no i. No i on top of e. On top of e. So. Yeah, I should remember that it should be normalized. So if if x is tends to infinite, then look, this term will blow up, blow up, blow up, right? So let's discuss this. So here yeah, finally you will get uh, you will get try to okay. Let's say. Phi one is the uh, a to the power i a x plus b to the power minus i a x, right? Then phi two is no phi two is this term is parallel, so I can write here minus a a x. There is no i, right? There is no i. Now apply the boundary condition. Now my camera should be. Uh, look. Okay, you can see right. If you don't cannot see, it, then let me know. Then I can just turn my camera again. Now, now we can see there is a uh, okay. Now, what I should do now? Now I should apply the boundary condition. What are the basic? Tell me. Okay. Basic mean boundary condition. 
the boundary condition first boundary condition f x is equal to 0 psi 1 is equal to psi 2 right x is equal to 0 then I can write a plus b is equal to f again the first derivative derivative at x is equal to 0 should be equal right yes now Oh, okay, I can say here that third derivative of psi 1 is, I can write, I can, okay, I can a minus b, right? Then here I can write uh, third derivative of this minus k2, it is k2, it is k2. Okay. Mm -hmm. K2. Yes, right? Okay. Now look at A plus B is F. I can write. Okay, let's write here. A plus B is equal to F. And A minus B is equal to uh, minus K2 by this is K1, right? K1 I K1 into F. I, I can then just uh, pull this up, then there will be no minus. Look, this. Now, now you can add it. If you add it, then you can find the twice A is equal to. 1 plus i k2 by k1 into f, right? Then I can write a is equal to k1 plus i k2 by k1 twice k1 into f, or I can write f by 2. Then again, if you do minus, then uh, you can write here minus, it is, it is plus, minus, it should be minus. Then we get, look, B is equal to, uh, you can write, B is equal to 1 minus I K2 by K1. F by 2. That means K1 minus I K2 by K1 into F by 2. You can write this to here. F by 2. This is the B. So I got this. Uh, I got this value. Okay. Now what should I do? I should just. Uh, um, what should I do now? Now, you should just uh, find the reflection and transmission, right? The reflection, but is like, uh, you can write D square by S square. So I have B, I have A. So I can write here, this is here, this is B. I can write K1 minus I, K2 by K1 plus I, K2 whole square. This is the, this is the desired relation and we can now more modify it. Uh, let's see, let's modify the relation again. Let's modify this. R uh, is equal to this square means multiply it with this complex conjugate. That means 
Q1 minus I Q2 into Q1 plus I Q2. This is complex conjugator is and here Q1 plus I Q2 into Q1 minus I Q2. Right? Then I can say is Q1 square minus a square minus b square. Look, a square minus b square. Then I can say minus i square will be plus. So it is square. Wow, it's becoming one. I don't know if sensor is right or wrong, but let's see. Uh, let's see. We can see it now. What? Yes, 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 yes. That's right, that's right. But uh, reflection should be B by B by A, not A by B. That's right. It's B. B by A. So, yeah. So, I can say the reflection is 1. That means totally it's reflected back. Right? We can, we can uh, prove this in another method. Do you want to see that method? Okay, let's see that method. I can erase this board. Look here. Another method means here, like J1, uh, that means, okay, J means current density, R is current, R is Why is it B? B. Um, yes, um, yes, yes. This would be, yeah. Critical, maybe if, if there is I, then size star should be next one. Size test should be here, right? Minus size star, the size, right? Dx. So if you put psi 1, psi 1 means here, psi uh, i is equal to a is equal to i, i k 1 x. So it will be plus here, then a square is equal to a square. I k, this will be minus i k. Minus I K minus this will be minus this will be plus this will be I K divided by two I K. So minus twice I K. And that's why I K A whole square two two one I I it will be minus ten plus A square K divided by M A square, right? Then look here again I F will be D E to the power E to the power minus I K X. Then there Reflection, sorry, R, you can write R, reflection. Reflection will be R is R by twice M. Then you can write B squared into I K I K to will be one and then it will be R I K minus, this will be plus, this will be still minus. Uh, this 
I did, then I can have I is the right version, which good, and as plus twice I get, I get right, two, two, and to be minus A is the right K by twice three M into this curve. So if I take the reflection coefficient that is defined by this like dr by dx, so it is d by a on square. So put it in by a, then you will get the same result as this, and you will get the mass one, right? Okay, that's it. This is very easy problem. So for e less than v. Even though the work function penetrates the barrier, it is eventually completely reflected. In other words, the problem of incoming particle being reflected in reflected. In other words, the probability of incoming particle being reflected is one. This is because the work function for x greater than zero is exponentially decaying. So the probability of particle reaching infinity is zero. There is no particle can be transmitted. So thus no particle can be transmitted. It's, it's uh, actually classical result. Okay, now, now, now let's uh, uh, calculate the reflection coefficient for the case E greater than V now. Okay, I can write Task here. Let's say. Invert the camera. Okay. 